So my name is Zeb Ahmed, I'm the product management leader for uh, Kindrel, and uh, my responsibility includes product management for advisory and implementation services. And I really want to focus on uh, the services element that Kindrel has and what we do uh, for our clients, taking them to the multi-cloud world. Okay, next slide, and this is cool. I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's amazing. Um, so how many of you guys know Kindrel? Anybody heard, heard of Kindrel? One, two, three, that's it? Google? No? VMware? No. I'm surprised. Working very closely with you guys, by the way. So Kindrel is a, a, a spin-off of IBM. So if you know IBM, IBM Services, that's what Kindrel is. Okay, so we spun off end of last year, and uh, it's a $19.5 billion company now, one of the top GSIs in the world. Okay, top one and two. Uh, we are the ones that manage most VMware workloads in the world today. And some fun facts are, the top five airlines are Kindrel managed services clients. Four of the five largest retailers in the world are Kindrel clients. And 45% uh, of all cars on the road today in the world are uh, manufactured by Kindrel clients, okay? So that should give you some perspective on who Kindrel is and our client base. Next slide, all right. So what are we doing? Being from IBM and have a history with IBM services, we are really transforming how we function and how we um, address client needs, okay? Really focusing on public cloud. Google is one of them, really heavily focusing on them, working very closely with VMware. Um, and we want to be as cloud native as possible, leveraging all those assets, all those um, technologies that you've acquired over the time, the cloud native frameworks. Uh, we want to make sure that as we are servicing our clients across the board from day zero to day two, that we're leveraging all those frameworks uh, and reference architectures and, uh, as much as possible. One more thing I want to uh, address here is, our end goal here is to take the client from day zero from an assessment and consulting perspective all the way to managed services, okay? And we don't stop at managed services. One of the key elements here that I want to highlight is we become your partner, especially in managed services, because we're always consulting with those clients. Don't think that we're going to take you to uh, a managed services and uh, put that layer on top and stop. Innovation never stops for us. Our technicians, our delivery teams are fully, fully enabled to um, stay in touch with the clients, understand their demands and the needs, and continue to innovate in the cloud. Okay, so here's a uh, client scenario. I thought it'd be better for us to walk through a real client scenario for you guys to understand what we do uh, versus me just giving you a spiel on our full services. So this is an insurance client. Um, they, they reached out to us because post-COVID, they realized that they were behind the mark as compared to their other competitors in the space. And um, they felt like the digitization that was happening in the space, they were not up to par. A lot of the clients that were, their clients were moving off their platform and going to the other clients. So essentially they were looking for us to get them into cloud and get the journey started for them. There we go. So this is an overarching slide, what services we did provide for them. And again, this is from day zero to day, day two, starting with the consult piece, very, very important to us. We feel, especially being in the space, that's where every single journey starts for us, especially on the consult piece, right? So we wanna get in there, we wanna consult with our clients, understand their business challenges, their business demands, and only then do we migrate them, and only then do we define the landing zone for them, and then you know move them over to the cloud side. Now, for this particular client, they did have VMware, okay? They did have a lot of other ambitions because they really wanted to be digitized in the cloud to address those client needs. The approach that we took for this client was to first get their leg into the cloud. And it's funny that we have VMware and Google guys sitting in the audience because GCVE was in play here, okay? So it's a very good combination of both technologies. Uh, so we felt the first phase of this cloud innovation and adoption needs to start with the easiest path to the cloud, which we felt was VMware in this case, okay? And all of the innovation that was gonna come was going to be uh, on top of that, whether it's ML, AI, data analytics, big data, all of those things, BigQuery, Vertex. So that is a future roadmap, but just to get them started on the cloud journey, we started with the VMware platform to get them at least of the foot in the door with those applications running in cloud as soon as possible. And now we're looking at ML, AI, Vertex, there's all these other use cases that have opened up for this particular client. 
All right, I'm going to skip through this really quick. Okay, so now don't think that we're just a, a provider who just does services. There's a lot of Kindrel intellectual property that is built on top of this. So this particular client, they had 4,000 applications. Okay, moving 4,000 applications to, to cloud, Google or any other platform is not simple. You've got to streamline the process. So not only did we use a lot of the tools that are born in cloud or came through Equus, Velastrada and a bunch, bunch of the other ones, uh, we also built a lot of automation on top of that, using Terraform, Ansible to streamline the migration, to streamline the, the patterns that we were going to build for any particular application, to streamline all of that. So that was one. So that was for the landing zone creation, okay? Now, if you go to the migration piece, again, we leveraged those tools that are in cloud, VMware tools, HCX was one of them we used, okay? We used some other, Zerto was also involved, v Veeam we use as well in addition to all these other ones. We layered on top our automation framework to accommodate for that quick migration to the cloud, to accommodate for, you know, get them going very, very quickly. You know, this is very important. Take a look at this line here. So the top one is unable to automate. Middle one means what we did automate. And the last one is where we want to be for this particular client. Okay, oops. Where did I go? There we go. So during the process, we actually consulted with them. We understood their applications and the requirements they had. And we were able to put our automation framework on top of the tools that Google and VMware have with Veeam to make this journey much seamless. So overall, this would have been a 10-year project for these clients. We were able, because of the automation and streamlining a lot of the processes, we were able to accomplish it for a year and a half. So a lot of value that we provided to the client here. HCX was used here, uh, and this is where we partner with Veeam in this particular scenario with the client. So Veeam is a big partner of, of Kindrel. Um, we actually started working with Veeam um, in my IBM cloud days. This is, I'm going back 2016. Uh, we started off with a really good backup partnership with Veeam, um, and you know, the thing just went on and on and on. I mean, every single customer um, you know, that we came across was either leveraging Veeam or we could sell them on Veeam because I think the biggest selling point that we were able to put forward was one license for all the use cases that Veeam has. Okay, so this particular client, because not only did they need backup, they needed disaster recovery and obviously the migration part in conjunction with HCX tool and some other tools that, that Google has, we were able to prove the value and significantly bring the cost down to the client. Especially going from the migration and having the same, same tools and leveraging the same license and the same cost to do backup and disaster recovery. So this today, that, that's what we did for the client, but this is a managed backup service from Kindrel to our clients today that is based on Veeam, that we provide as a service to our clients, and it's done tremendously well. Okay, so, um, you know, Veeam's been a great partner for us. I really appreciate that. And we also have another service that leverages Veeam, and that's Cyber Recovery. Uh, and I have my colleague Cyrus here to talk about that a little bit more. We're announcing that at uh, this, at this VMworld. So it's a great service, Cyrus. Why don't you take it over? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Zeb. Um, hello, everyone. So Cyrus Nilchan. Um, I brought two slides with me. They disappeared. I suspect some magician made them go away. Um, but um, I'm still, still going to talk about it, right? So we have one. Uh, so first of all, I work in Kindrel formerly IBM, GTS, now we're our own independent company, we're multi-cloud, and um, we, um, we have a, a set of managed services. When we talk about managed services, what we mean specifically is we mean uh, we provide the hardware, the software, uh, the underlying cloud resources, the implementation services, and the steady state managed services. We package it all together. We kind of put one price tag on that, and then we sell this as like one package, which we, you know, charge a customer monthly for it. So fully managed service, you know, all around happy package. That's that's kind of what we do. Now, our project that 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 we started with Veeam was, um, we basically took Veeam and um, its cyber capabilities, and. Uh, put them together to come out with a managed service offering. That managed service offering we call Cyber Incident Recovery Powered by Veeam. And what that is really, so um, we took Veeam's capability, 
put it into a managed service offering, and um, and you might ask, how is that differentiated from like a standard backup that you that you take today? It is differentiated by basically three things. Number one, uh, we have implemented an air gap. It's a network-based air gap, so we sever the network connection and we um, keep the data isolated. We keep the copies isolated um, so that we can implement what we call a clean room, which is uh, when a cyber incident happens, we can actually go there and recover instantly. We use instant mount capabilities of, of Veeam to do that. So we instantaneously recover and then we, um, uh, we check out if we can bring that copy back into production. So we basically check it for, uh, for um, malware, um, which is the second pillar of a cyber solution, right? Number one, uh, air gap. Number two um, is anomaly scanning. And we have our own technology that we, that we bring here in addition to Veeam's capabilities in, the, in that field. So we scan those backups for anomalies. Um, so we, we, we really check out, um, is, is it good? Is it a good copy? Is that, is that backup good? Um, sometimes something might slip through, which is why we have the clean room when we do the recovery. We can actually bring it back in a clean room and scan it there again, maybe with a different piece of um, a, a malware detection. But point being is we scan it as it comes in and we check out if the backups are good. So that's the second feature. So again, air gap, um, anomaly scanning, and the third one is um, immutability. So we use uh, uh, Veeam's um, Im Im immutable storage repository, basically a, a, a Linux machine, most likely a physical machine, um, where we store the data to provide immutability. We're also looking at um, uh, object storage, immutable object storage capabilities uh, that uh, uh, that Veeam um, has enabled and is enabling. So uh, very powerful, very differentiated from your from your everyday backup. So that's our solution. We're really proud. We're kind of announcing it here. So um, um, any questions? Any questions? All right. And I have a second thing that I want to bring to you, which which is what we call a recovery retainer, right? How many of you are familiar with an incident response retainer? Ever heard about incident response retainers? Okay, so incident response retainers, many security companies have that. And what that is, it's a, it's a service that uh, customers sub, uh, subscribe to. It typically runs for 12 months, a one year period. Uh, somebody, a uh, customer subscribes to it and when there is a cyber attack, there's a SWAT team coming in and um, helping, uh, helping with that cyber incident. So that's what an incident response retainer is. Um, there are many of them out there. So all the security companies, you know, EY, you know, um, uh, uh, Verizon, Cisco, pretty much all of them have some incident response retainer. So what we did is we, we thought, well, we want to do something new, something cool and we created a recovery retainer. So basically it complements an incident response retainer and we come in to help customers recover after a cyber attack. Very important for us, right? So we basically provide a 1-800 number, customer calls us, says, I'm exposed. Then within four hours, we actually um, get a security expert on the phone uh, that starts helping and then we send our SWAT team in and we go, we go on site and provide this recovery retainer service to the customer. It's based on hours, so you buy like 150 hours and it runs for one year and it's, basic, it's like an insurance policy. So very powerful service um, that, that we have. It, it obviously you know, applies to any cloud, any environment, uh, any you know, operating system, even mainframe. Um, surely, you know, Veeam, um, is you know one of the, the supported platforms, of course. So very powerful service. So um, yeah, if you have any you know questions, just just find me and um, happy to talk more about it. Uh, where's our headquarters? It's New York. So we're in, in New York. We. Uh, yeah. A quick note. So so we're working very closely with VMware, obviously and uh, Google, of course, because we also are launching our 
uh, services very specifically for GCVE at this show. Uh, working with the whole team there and, uh, and VMware obviously is going to be expanding to AVS and uh, VMC as well. So we'd love to talk to you guys after, after this little meetup here to tell you more. Yeah? Okay. Thank you all. Appreciate the time.